He is known for his groundbreaking discovery of severe acute respiratory syndrome as a new and highly contagious viral disease. He is recognized for his early warning to the World Health Organization, which led to a rapid and global response that saved countless lives. His name is Carlo Urbani. In the annals of medical history, one name stands out, Carlo Urbani, an Italian physician and microbiologist whose impact on the world is immeasurable. Born on October 19, 1956, Urbani's passion for medicine and his dedication to public health became evident early on in his career. Little did he know that his groundbreaking discovery would change the course of a deadly outbreak. In 2003, a mysterious and highly contagious respiratory disease began to spread in Guangdong, China. People were falling ill, and the situation was dire. Urbani, working for the World Health Organization, was sent to investigate. His keen observation and expertise led him to identify the disease as a new and dangerous viral infection, which he named Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, or SARS for short. Urbani's early warning to the World Health Organization triggered a swift and global response, ultimately saving numerous lives. His dedication and quick action in the face of uncertainty showcased his commitment to the well-being of humanity. Tragically, shortly after his discovery, Urbani himself contracted SARS and succumbed to the disease on March 29, 2003. His selfless sacrifice and unwavering commitment to public health will forever be remembered as a testament to the impact one individual can have on the world. In late February 2003, Carlo was called into the French hospital of Hanoi, Vietnam, to examine a patient named Johnny Chen, an American businessman who was suffering from what appeared to be a severe case of influenza. But Carlo had a hunch that this was something different, something more dangerous. He realized that Chen's illness was likely a new and highly contagious disease. Without wasting any time, Carlo immediately contacted the World Health Organization, WHO, to report his findings, setting off a chain of events that would bring an end to the epidemic within just five months. Carlo didn't stop there. He also convinced the Vietnamese Health Ministry to take action by isolating patients and screening travelers. This helped slow down the rapid spread of the disease in its early stages. His quick thinking and determination were instrumental in containing the outbreak and saving countless lives. However, on March 11, 2003, as Carlo was flying from Hanoi to a conference in Bangkok, he started feeling feverish. It turned out that he had contracted the very disease he was fighting against while treating infected patients. Carlo's hospital room in Bangkok became an impromptu isolation ward, with communication happening through an intercom. As his condition worsened, he was put on a ventilator to help him breathe. Even in his moments of consciousness, Carlo showed his selflessness by requesting a priest for his last rites and offering his lung tissue for scientific research. Tragically, after 18 days of intensive care, Carlo succumbed to the disease on March 29, 2003. His dedication and sacrifice in the battle against SARS will never be forgotten. The strain of the virus that he had contracted, known as the SARS-CoV or Bonnie strain, became the reference variant for this outbreak, forever etching Carlo's name in the annals of scientific history. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.